on the other side of page 99. The information that they give us here is the given information. They want a one full turn is 48 millimeters. The outer diameter is 80. You need to draw starting at point A. There's point A. Draw to a scale of one to one three turns of a right-handed single line auger. I'm hoping that 48 divides nicely by 12. Yes, it would. It would give you and a number of distance there would be 4 the distance between the views the vertical lines so I'm going to draw this given circle and the given rectangle here then I'm going to do my pizza slices divide up my heights and then project For 11, so I've done my circle and I've put in my pizza slices. I've drawn my rectangle so far. It's got a height of 144, which I need to divide up into height segments of 4 millimeters. They've given us A as the starting point here, and A would be over here. Now, in the information, they said it's a right-hand single-line auger. So once again, if I hold my pencil in my right hand, that's the direction that my auger needs to be going. So it's going to be going up like this and hit this edge and come around the back, come around the front, around the back. Okay, and so forth. So my next step here is to mark off the 4 millimeter height segments and label the heights and label my circle, the numbers for my circle. Grey okay, 11s, I'm going to try something new. I have to label this, so I'm going to also go anti-clockwise. Now what I'm going to do, instead of drawing all these lines, so many of them, I'm going to leave those height measurements there. And what I'm going to do for a change now is actually project my pizza slices for a change and rather do that because I think I'm going to save a bit of time so I project these lines down now instead of drawing this all the way across I'm, I'm going to do that separately so zero is where we start in here And numbering and there are all my height measurements marked off so now my first point is point one so point one lines up with point one there so I can make that mark point two point three Point 0.4 we don't see it's coming around the back. Point 0.5 lines up with line 5. 6 is on this point. 7. 8. Lines touching the edge there. 9. And so we go. 12 is in the center, 
one and we carry on going plotting those points I have all my points plotted now and now it's a matter of joining up the points remembering that it's a right hand so we're going to see that a little bit up to that corner at that corner it goes around the back of the shape so we won't see it until it comes out again here we'll see that shape around the back we won't see it we'll see this shape we won't see that shape and we'll see it finishing off there so there I've joined up some of the points this part in blue here is indicating the part that I can't see that's going around the back of the shape this part is the visible part and again the part that we can't see curved here at the end back to this point join it up to the second point the middle three points are a straight line it's your check for your accuracy if they aren't on a straight line you've got a problem that one's slightly curved keep it following and curve this at the end there the visible side get a nice little sharp curve there come back join up those three with your straight line your check for your accuracy and curve at the end Move at the end through that point, join it up, the three in the middle, we'll test for accuracy. Curve at the end there, and it's gonna come down. This is the last one will be a straight line there. And there we have the end of that drawing for page 99. I think just make the outline here dark so it matches the outline there. You need to put in a center line for these drawings as well. So let me do that. We've got a circle and a shaft, so it's important to have our center line. and in the circle as well okay, these, my lines are really dark so we're not really seeing much of a difference there and those are the two helix on page 99